Hi guys, this is Himanshu and in this video I will be implementing the solution of problem throwing dice. So if you want to understand the concept, how can we solve this problem and, and how can we approach to this problem, you can check out my previous video where I have discussed the thinking approach and the concept in very detail. So now let's get to the implementation. We will be given a number n. It will be long n. Now we came up with a matrix A for the solution. So matrix A was something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if you don't know about initializing vector this way, you can check out my video on vector two. Now it was one here. This was one here. And this was one here. This time one here. So this is our matrix A. Okay, now we have our matrix A. So let's implement the multiplication function. It will return a vector of vector. Let's make it long. And let's make this long also. And always remember to pass matrix by reference. So make this also long long and let's define mod value which will be 10 to 9 plus 7 so okay so the dimension of our output matrix will be rows of first matrix and column of second matrix let's create that matrix Okay, so let's perform multiplication operation. So for calculating the value of Cij, we need to traverse on the whole row of A. So it will be K plus plus. And Cij will be addition of the multiplication of ith row of a matrix and jth column of b matrix so ith row of a matrix into jth column of b matrix and perform module operation here let's start it like this to perform module operation remove this so this should be now this should work for multiplication and return c now let's calculate the power function and let's make it long long so we will have a initial matrix and the power which we have to calculate So let's calculate the output matrix. We will call it result. Now result should be identity matrix because it should be something when which when get multiplied by A should return A. Similarly like how you declare answer S1 when you perform simple multiplication. You can use that analogy and its dimension will be same as dimension of a okay there should be long long we missed it
and we will initialize it with the value 0. Now for identity matrix, diagonal values are 1, so let's do that. Let's make the diagonal value as 1. Now calculate the power function. If n is odd, it is just another way to check if n is odd because n and 1 will give a, a value other than 0 only if only if the first bit of n will be 1 and since all other position in bit are multiple of 2 they will be even so for a number to be odd its bit position at two, first index should be reset and the reason for checking this way is bitwise operators are faster than modulo and division operators so Basically, I have got used to write this way, so I am doing this way. You can use your implementation. Now we have to calculate. So this is result here. Too much mistakes. Result should be multiplication of result with A. And for n by 2, we have to multiply a with itself and n will n should be divided by 2 at each step now again this is the bitwise way of dividing n by 2 and it is faster and i have got used to write function this way finally return a sorry result and one more thing we have our answer so we came up with the six initial values for p matrix those were 1 2 4 and then 8 16 32 and 64 these were the six initial value if n is less than or equal to 6 we can simply use this arrow to return the answer let's make this long long too simply return this answer otherwise subtract n from 6 calculate the power of a so now our answer will be the first value of a into p matrix so instead of multiplying whole matrix i will be simply multiplying this first row with this whole column so Let's make this zero. Answer equals to answer plus a of zero i into p of six minus i minus one. Because zeroth index should be multiplied with last index, then first with second last, and so on. So this expression will do that and use the modulo operator okay and i think this should solve the answer now let's check this okay first but before that let me specify my input and output file these are just this is these two lines are just for specifying my input and output file basically i have opening input file in read mode and the values will be read from standard input and similarly for output file i will be opening output.txt in write mode for, and output will be standard out and this will be c in and c out and let's write this fast input statement too so now let's check this for 8 okay okay so first error i think it should be long long again too many mistakes and a big blunder where i have to calculate power function not multiplication function now i hope everything should work fine now now let's submit it i forgot to remove my input and output file and finally it's accepted now let's look at another example suppose an is something like this 
and instead of any previous term it is dependent on n itself so again try yourself to come up with the matrix first so now again with my approach first i will look at p for a n we need a n minus 1 and also n let's see if these values will be all we need or we need other values as well and for initial value a n minus 1 can be a 0 and then n can be 1 now in output we need a n and n plus 1 for calculation of a n plus 1 because these two things will be needed to calculate a n plus 1 so since we need to add 1 here I think we will need 1 here too because then you can add 1 each time now let's come up with the a matrix so 2 times a n minus 1 plus n and 0 for the 1 that's how we will get a n now here we need n plus 1 so this will be 0 and we need n n plus 1 and at last we need simply 1 so and this this will be the a matrix again if you want to try another example try this one instead of n let's say we have n square now try to come up with the matrix of this equation and if you are able to come up with the matrix you can tell us in comment to help others and if you want a hint to just think simply n plus 1 square will be dependent on n square plus 1 plus 2 times n so you can take use of this equation now i will recommend you to try and solve this problem fibonacci numbers and in next video i will be showing you the approach on how to solve this graph 1 and graph 2 problem till then code hard